Hello, this is Konstantin from Aprolomax. Let me share what Aprolomax is and how it could help you and your clients. Aprolomax is an Azure app that automates multi-step authorization workflows for different financial documents, such as purchase orders, bills, sales invoices, credit notes, and some other documents. Besides a pro workflow itself, a pro max also provides some additional features, such as matching of bills to purchase orders, budgeting, and reporting. A pro max focuses a lot on security and compliance. One of the core benefits that a pro max provides is that approvers who authorize bills, purchase orders, and other documents, they do not need to have access to Jira at all. They are notified with email notifications, push notifications on the mobile, and they can make decisions without having access to Jira, and thus without seeing any information that is stored in Jira. Also, ProMax provides audit reports functionality that generates a PDF file, a snapshot of how bill or purchase order looked like when it was approved, and who exactly has approved this document. The first thing that we provide here is fraud detection and prevention. A ProMax allows to detect certain situations that could be considered a fraud and notifies administrators of the system. Another case is exception handling. A ProMax is perfectly handling some typical situations uh, that might be happening, like for example, when a prover is not available, is out of office, but still someone needs to make a decision. In this case, a ProMax allowed to assign a delegate who will be making decisions on behalf of the person who is currently not available. A ProMax provides single sign-on experience for both users who have access to Jira, they could be using Jira SSO, and those people who do not have access to Jira, they could be using Google SSO. Another... A ProMax is widely used by both internal accounting teams and accounting and bookkeeping practices that serve businesses. For internal accounting teams, a ProMax eliminates the need to organize paper-based or email-based approval process and thus saves lots of time. For accounting and bookkeeping practices, approval max in the essence provide a solution to provide outsourcing services to their clients. The core idea here is that approval max allows to involve managers on the client side into the approval process, at the same time not letting them into the Jira itself. In other words, approval max provides a tool to share the financial responsibility with your client. This way, it is not your decision to pay a bill, it is a decision that is confirmed by someone on the client side, and you can be sure that you are doing the right thing by paying this bill. A ProMax is serving clients globally, with clients in different industries, starting from agriculture, to construction, to non-for-profits, to hospitality, etc. Regardless of the industry you or your clients are, a ProMax can save you lots of time on the approval process. Generally speaking, if you spend more than 30 minutes a week on the approval process, a Pro Max would help you a lot. So how a Pro Max in the essence works with Jira. Let us take a look at bill review and approval workflow as our flagship workflow and see how a Pro Max is handling it. First of all, bill needs to be entered into Jira. You could be using different ways to do that. You could use some built-in functionality provided by Jira, such as bill creation in Jira, such as copying purchase order to a bill, or using a feature that is called email to bill in Jira. Of course, you could be using the data entry tools, such as auto entry, data marina, easy bills, hub doc, receipt bank. They are all very nice tools, and they're helping a lot to get rid of manual work. All in all, once a bill is in Jira, it is time to get it approved. At this point, bill is sitting in Jira in awaiting approval status, and this means that it is not yet approved, and what is very important, it does not yet hit the GL. So it is safe to have this bill in Jira even though it is not yet approved. Once the bill is there, a ProMax will pick it up and start a multi-step authorization process. At this point, we will apply rules that have been configured in the system. We will notify approvers who need to authorize the bill and collect their decisions. Once everyone is happy about the bill, once they all click approve button, then approval max will move this bill from awaiting approval tab in Jira to the awaiting payment tab in Jira. Let me also mention two brand new features that approval max has recently released. 
Now it is possible to create bills right in Approval Max and submit them for approval. And this is very, very handy in particular cases when you want to provide your suppliers with an ability to create bills in your zero file. Another brand new feature that we are very much proud of is a direct integration with Reshit Bank. So if you would like bills to go straight from Reshit Bank into Approval Max with go without going to Jira first, that is something that we can now do. You're very welcome to get in touch and we'll be happy to enable this feature for you. Another very interesting thing to mention here is that Approval Max provides mobile apps for both iPhone and Android platforms. And using these applications, approvers can authorize bills and purchase orders on the go. They will be receiving push notifications. They can click on this notification, review all the necessary details, including attached files, original invoice, for example, and make a decision, either approve or reject, or maybe provide a comment asking for some clarifications in regards to this particular financial document. Finally, let us see how ProMax looks like and works. An organization in a ProMax connects to a zero file. So if you are using, say, two or three zero files, you will need two or three ProMax organizations that will be connected one-to-one. -one. Let me go to the approval workflows here in a ProMax and let us see how workflows are configured. A ProMax provides three workflows on the accounts payable side, purchase orders, bills, credit notes, and two workflows on the accounts receivable side, sales invoice and credit notes. And let us take a look at bill review and approval workflow, the workflow that we have discussed in the theoretical introduction. A workflow in the essence is a sequence of steps. It all starts with picking up a bill from Jira, then processing it in a multi-step authorization workflow, and then pushing it back to Jira once a bill is fully authorized. There are two most important things to know about the approval workflow in a Max. First of all, these steps are sequential. It means that in my particular case, CFO approval will not be happening uh, before Wujin manager is a, has approved the bill. And actually you could have any number of these authorization levels. You're not limited to just two steps as I have, but you could have three, four, five, any number of steps. The second most important idea is that in each step, there is so-called approval matrix. Approval matrix allows you to define rules according to which bills will be automatically assigned to different approvers. In my particular case, I have three approvers, approver one, approver two, and myself. And as you can see, based on the region, bill will go to a particular manager. Approver one is in charge of east side, approver two is in charge of south and west coast, and myself, I'm in charge of north. Also, it is of course perfectly possible to use other criteria to define rules in the matrix. Like for example, in this step, I am basing criteria uh, on the amount of the bill. If bill amount exceeds 10,000, then it will be assigned to CFO. If the bill is below 10,000, it will go through the step without being assigned to CFO at all. Let us now take a look at approval max from a prover's standpoint. Approvers can go to approvalmax.com and after accepting an invitation, they will see all those bills that they need to authorize here in the decision required list. There are two very important things to mention here. First of all, approvers will see only those bills that they need to authorize. They will not be able to see any other bills uh, that need to be approved by other managers in the organization. And another very important thing, as we have discussed, is that approvers they do not need to have access to Jira at all. They just go to Apollo Max and see all the bills here. Besides going to ApolloMax.com, approvers could authorize bills using two other methods. First of all, they could be receiving an email notification from Apollo Max, and they could just click approve or reject button in the email notification itself. And the third option is to use mobile apps. As I have mentioned, we have mobile apps for Apple and for uh, Google. So it means that you can just download these apps and approvers will be able to authorize, command, reject bills on the go, which is very, very handy. Approval Max has a partner program for accounting and bookkeeping practices. And we are very, very keen to help you serve your clients better. You are very welcome to sign up for this partner program by going to approvalmax.com going to partners page and clicking 
sign up button. Thanks a lot for joining this session. I very much hope it was helpful for you. In case you have any questions, you are very welcome to get in touch with Apple Mac staff. Thank you and have a good day.